Hi, I'm Jeremy Pollock, and you're about to watch a lesson in self-defense. Remember, our goal in this world is not to create more violence and aggression, but rather to try to create more peace and harmony whenever we can. So we're going to use these techniques only as a last resort in the preservation and defense of innocent life. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so we're going to do an alteration or a little supplement to our other knife videos, uh, getting a lot of questions as to how to take the knife out properly. Uh, this is, of course, going to depend on what kind of knife you have and, and uh, how you're carrying it. This is a three and a half inch uh, Spider Co, which I like to carry. It's a, it's a training weapon, but I carry the real thing. And it folds. And because it has a clip, I can put it in my pocket, and, and it's now not completely concealed. It has a clip, and it's on the outside. Just practice withdraws, just open, and however you withdraw it. So mine withdraws. You can my, the Spider Co. If you have a Spider Co. or something like it, you can flick it down and out. So. It's really easy. You can also use a, a straight up and down, and you can also just use your thumb to flick. Okay, but I like the quickest way for me is just straight down and across. Okay, so like that. So if you just practice over and over and over your withdrawal, you get you know slightly quick at it, right? And it doesn't have to be super quick. Um, a lot of times, if someone's at if someone's coming at you with a knife, they have the knife already out. You know, you've and and they're threatening you with it then you've got time to take it out, right? And you've got time to take it out. If he's already in attack mode and he surprises you attack, then we'll add in a little supplement here. So, for instance, he starts to, he starts to attack. He's putting it this way. All right, I'm up here. Once I have protection here, once I have control, this is when I have to start working at this knife withdrawal, okay? So this is really good practice. If I just want to practice with a friend of him coming up to me and doing this, and I just, he's struggling, struggling, I got to make sure I can, I can, I can withstand the pressure with one hand. Okay, so as much as I can, I'm going to straight arm him. Okay, he starts to curl around it. I'm going to straight. I'm going to keep it straight. Try to keep it straight. This gives me time to withdraw. Okay, then I go into my withdraw, and I'm going to cut the arm first. Remember, I want to attack that attack that weapon. Okay, just like in my in my open hand here, or my or my face to face here, I'm attacking the weapon. I'm attacking the weapon. Okay, so again, I'm here. I'm just going to attack the weapon, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two, three, all right? Again, one, two, three. That means to the forearm, okay, cutting some of these veins, to the bicep, cutting some of his tendons and his muscle, and then upwards into his artery in the armpit, okay? So again, he's coming at me. I just want to practice my withdrawal, take it out, snap it open, one, two, three, once I get to here, then I can start to worry about other things. Okay, then I can start to move and worry about other things. But I want to attack that weapon hand first. Attack that weapon hand, make it hard for him to hold on. Okay, I can go the hand, wrist, whatever it is. But I like to go one, two, three up here. Okay, and then I can attack other places. So again, he comes in, my hands, I go, he comes in, I go to my, my position here, I go to my position, I've got some, now I've got, I've got a nice hold on this, I'm controlling his arm. He's still trying to come in me and stab me, I can feel this pressure. What I want to do is straight arm it, okay, get my arm straight, withdraw as much as I can. Boom, 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 okay, coming in, cutting that arm, all right. Once he starts feeling that cut arm, now, is your reaction to try to grab this arm? What yeah, do you my, think? my reaction okay. would be absolutely. So grab that arm, right? So again, if he's in here, same thing. If I'm here, I'm going to still try to cut the arm. Now, what I want to do is break this. If I'm in here and he starts to grab, all I got to do to break it is roll it out towards the thumb. I want to roll it out towards the opening, towards that opening, OK? Roll it out towards the thumb. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to cut down at the same time. Cut down. So I cut with it. And then I come in. One, two, three. OK? So again, he comes in. Boom. I withdraw. I come out here, he starts to grab, I out, one, two, three, again, stab, 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 whatever I have to do. Okay, so I get into my same position, that same trap, and then cut position. Okay, I still get into that same position that I did earlier when I'm cutting, blocking, and trapping. My, that's my end goal all the time, even when I'm here. Cut, 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 trap in here. All right, so I'm always trying to get to that position, to his outside. So that's our little supplement um, for if he comes in, I don't have my knife already out. Just practice your withdrawals so you get it nice and easy every time. When, he, when you get that control, one arm goes straight. Really straighten it up and just make sure you just roll with it. 
to give yourself time to make that withdraw, attack the hand, and then get into your outside position. There's your supplement to uh, our knife on knife attack. Okay, we're done.